What's going on, toy fans? Welcome back to Mark's Toy Box. Here I am, Mark. And I told you at the end of my last video, the next video is going to finish off the brothers, the loyal subjects, best action, Michelangelo. Got the other three here. They've all been released from their uh, cardboard and plastic prisons. Got the same box art we've got on the side of all of them. It's just colored orange for Michelangelo. Showing him on the back with uh, some posing of his little accessories that he's got. So let's give this bad boy an open. Um, once again, huge fan of this line. We'll once again look at them and see exactly what I like about them and why I think they are super quality for what you get. Uh, same as usual, you've got the background insert with the colors of all of or with the all of the turtles on it but the colors of michelangelo bragging about exactly who you got michelangelo so that's kind of fun i don't know that i've pointed these out in the past recyclable plastic it says right there so that's good to know the loyal subjects cares about the earth more than some other places do get a free sticker every time all the ones that i keep getting in my turtles keep being broken or dented up I don't really care because I've got so many of them. But let's take a look at the turtle himself. Oh, got a little black, little black dot right there on his lip. See that? Whatever. <laughs> he comes with two heads. Got the normal head. And there, as you can see, with no teeth showing, no expression. And then we've got a. Sort of grinning smile there. We're going to go with that one. That's more of a Mikey one. These heads do not come off as easy as the hands. We learned that in the Raphael video for sure. Ah. You know what? We're just going to keep the head on. Trust me, they switch, but sometimes they can be difficult. Um, all right. So the head... It's just on a ball there, but it's got some up, down, and swivel side to side. The shell, as we learned, especially in the Raphael video, there's a little, like a dumbbell in there that sort of holds it on because we've got a diaphragm ball joint in there. So there's some nice movement around and the shell is allowed to move because of that. Shoulders, butterfly shoulders, bicep cut, double jointed elbows, the hands are on pins. I'm going to swap the hands just so we can see um, some of the accessories. We've got the open hands here. As with all of them, you've got to put their sort of um, weapon holders back onto the backs of them. Don't know why they didn't just build that in, but whatever. In the legs, we've got a thigh cut, double jointed pinless knees, and all the feet are usually on a swiveling pin there with rocking motion and side to side. Moves pretty well. Really, the only thing that's stuck on this one, and I've found this on multiple of these, man, that head is tough to get off. Um, we've got the open hands. And then we've got the punching fists, the three fingers of a turtle, the punch. And we've got the hands for holding weapons. So I'm going to put the weapons hands in. Because he comes with a couple of different fun things here. And the hands, as you can see, I'm popping these off real easy. And popping the new ones back on real easy. There we go, simple as that. So we've got a couple sets of nunchucks. These are rubberized as well. Um, much like Raphael, the weapons are really soft rubber all around. Whereas with uh, Donatello and Leonardo, those are very hard weapons. So these ones got some play to them. Now I like that the chains are sort of 
bent at different angles here. So this one, you know, it's it's uh, this side sort of lower down. So you can almost show them in a bit of a spinning action. That's kind of fun. But here's the big shocker for you. I know you weren't expecting this because the SH Figure Arts one for Michelangelo comes with a grappling hook. Lo and behold, who gets the grappling hook for our loyal subjects? Michelangelo. What are the odds? They're really good. We all knew it was coming. Come on. Get in that hand. The hand is rather firm. <laughs> it does not want to add something inside of its grip. Man. Come on. There we go. Grappling hook for Michelangelo. And honestly, I'm probably not even going to have him holding that because that's silly. It's just a straight plastic line. But, as I pointed out multiple times, this line's just a straight, <laughs> a straight up copy of the SH Figuarts figures. And Michelangelo, again, looks amazing. I mean, is that not amazing? Of course it's amazing. It's Michelangelo. Michelangelo's a party dude. I love Michelangelo. Uh, spoiler alert, he's the last Ronin. But as I've also pointed out, hey, these guys are the little brothers of what I consider the gold standard. And the gold standard is expensive. And these are now just about $18 at Walmart. Versus $50 years ago and now way more on eBay. $18. You can get all four brothers right now. They're out there. And more figures are coming. I've seen some people start sharing that they're finding foot soldiers. Um, Casey Jones and Shredder are coming soon. Bebop and Rocksteady are coming soon. Just get on the line. It's a great line. I love this line. The Loyal Subjects. Best action. Michelangelo. It's very hard for me to pick my favorite turtle. Um, they pretty much all are amazing. But when push comes to shove, I, I do think Michelangelo might win a little bit just because I love his laid back partier at attitude. And yet at the same time, he's still rocking the nunchucks, which are incredibly hard to do. Um, he's basically like Bruce Lee, except he's probably even more laid back than Bruce Lee. Not even probably, quite a bit more. Hey, I am Mark here at Mark's Toy Box. I love the Loyal Subjects Best Action Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. I've got all four brothers now, so we're going to find a place to make them hang out, and eventually we'll get some enemies for them to fight. But until that time, uh, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Toy Box. I hope you enjoy whatever you're out there buying, and we'll see you next time.